Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a transparent background on your image and the reasons for this are going to become clear at some point. I actually thought of doing this video a few weeks ago and then I thought well how is this going to be useful but I've had um, a request from someone one of my followers to um, to reproduce an image I did years or well, not years ago months ago and um, this is the one this is a collage so this is actually more than one image um, on a background and this is where I think this transparent background is going to be really useful so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to make the, the background transparent on this particular image so this is what we'll do in the first video and then the second video I will be showing you how to put the various images onto a background okay so let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select subject so let's go up to select come down to subject now i have done an update on the photoshop in the last few days um select subject isn't always the most accurate it seems to be more accurate when you're when you've got a plain background it seems to select things better if it's busy and it's a bit more difficult but let's just have a go here now so we've got some bits that we haven't haven't selected so i'm going to go up to quick selection tool and then i'm going to click the plus at the top here i'm going to select the bits that i do want to come in what i'll do is just go in closer Select, quick selection again. And let's just have a look. This bit there we want, we want in. So let's just click the minus. And that's going to take out the bits we don't want. Hopefully. Let's make it a bit smaller. What we'll do is we'll go to the cloud, see if we get better results with that. So sometimes just to click, this is one reason why I don't like select subject because it's not sort of fine tuned enough for me. I do prefer bringing an overlay in and masking over over the top that's a bit of patience here okay another bit there maybe come probably asking a lot of it It's a bit of a complicated one I'm doing, but why not do complicated just to show you how it works. Not too bad. Take that away, I think. Right, so I think we've got it all selected. And we just need to select that stem at the bottom, don't we? Well, let's have that. Go back with quick selection. Click the plus at the top. And then just bring this down a bit further.
Then we're going to select and mask. Now we've got a transparency at the back. Now this is not, I wouldn't say this is a perfect. Now the settings I've got here, you've seen these before in my videos. Um, I've actually put remember settings on this because this does seem to be a pretty good starting point. You can always sort of like move these sliders if you feel the you your selection is not good enough. But at the moment, I think that's pretty pretty good. So we'll leave it at twenty percent. Let's just have a quick look around. So I'll show you what you can do to actually fine tune some of these bits because I find this select and mask isn't always. Uh, Let's just have a go at see what we've got. Fine edge. Let's just go in and see. See the little bits here. And me being picky as I am, it has to be perfect. You can see. Just, change, just taking out. The problem is with black, you've got to make sure that you can't see the black edges. Let's just have a look at some more. Not there, I think oh, it's a black, bit of black. It's here in the stem. Bit there, I think. I don't think that's too bad a selection. I think there's a bit of black there as well. Say, those are the settings that I've left. Um, you know, as I say, click remember settings. And those are the settings I've left there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it to a new layer and say, OK. Now you've got it on its own transparent layer. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click the bottom layer and I'm going to put it in the dustbin. So now you've got transparency with your image on the top. Now, if you want to, you can do a bit of fine tuning here. But because this is going on a, on a very similar background, you might not need to touch very much up. So let's just have a look. Um, so we're gonna put a mask on. Make sure you're on the mask. We've done this before in previous videos. You know, make sure you're on black. Use your brush. And let's just go in. Let's just have a look, see if there's anything we can. You need your brush. Let's just go in. This brush is a bit big, so have a smaller brush. Because I think that's a bit of black there. It's not to be perfect, but I think you know where I'm like by now. That looks as though it's a little bit of touching up. Have a look at this stem. This stem looks a bit rough. Straighten it up a little bit. To be honest, if you've made a mistake, you can always click the white and then put it back in again. Just making this stem look a bit um, 
it's smoother. Get rid of that at the bottom. So I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else we need to change. So there you are, you've got your transparency. Now, what we can do is we can save this, whatever you want to save it as. Save as. I'm just going to save it as Lenten rolls cut out. Save it to the desktop. Save. Okay. Let's get out of it. And I'll go back in. Stop. There it is. There's your transparency. And there you go. And that's all ready for you to start the next video where we put these various images in. Hope you've got the gist of that. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.